In this video, we're gonna be discussing how to identify the four conic sections in standard form. First, we have the general form, the standard form, and the type of the conic section. The first general form is x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y plus 4 equals 0. Then if we're going to transform this into a standard form, we will have quantity x minus 3 squared plus quantity y plus 1 squared equals 6. And this standard form is a circle. For the second general form, we have y squared minus 5x plus 12y equals negative 6. And if we're going to transform this into a standard form, we have quantity y plus 6 squared equals 5 times quantity x plus 4. And this equation is a parabola. The next general form is 9x squared plus 16y squared minus 126x plus 64y equals 71. If we're going to transform this into a standard form, we will have quantity x minus 7 squared over 64 plus quantity y plus 2 squared over 36 equals 1. And this conic section is an ellipse. The fourth general form is negative 4x squared plus 9y squared plus 24x minus 18y minus 63 equals 0. If we're going to transform this into a standard form, we have quantity y minus 1 squared over 4 minus quantity x minus 3 squared over 9 equals 1. And this type of conic section is a hyperbola. So in this topic, hindi na natin kailangan na mag-transform ng general to standard form. We don't need to undergo a tedious process in transforming equations. So let's have this characteristic. So from general form, then the type of conic section, and the characteristic. Let's have first the circle. This is x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y plus 4 equals 0. So this is standard form is a circle. So how are we going to know if the general form is a circle, a parabola, an ellipse, or a hyperbola? So let's look at their characteristic. So here, when x and y are both squared, so let us examine the general form. x and y are both squared. And the coefficients on them are the same, including the sign. So what is the coefficient of x squared? We have 1. Also, the coefficient of y squared is also 1. So they are both positive. So confirm that our general form is a circle. So let's have another example, uh, another equations. 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 16x plus 4y plus 20 equals 0. So looking at our characteristic, x and y are both squared, then coefficients on them are the same. So the coefficient is 2, the coefficient is 2. And their sign is the same. So this general form is a circle. Another uh, equation, so x squared and y squared. So they have coefficients 5. So this equation is a circle. Let's have our parabola. So y squared minus 5x plus 12y equals negative 16. So this one is a parabola and what is the characteristic? When either x or y is squared, not both. Okay, one of the x or y is squared. So in this case, we have y squared only. So our equation or this general form is a parabola. So we don't need to transform into a uh, standard form for us to be able to determine what conic section is that uh, equation. So another example, we have x squared plus 4x plus 4y equals 56. So x or y is squared. So in this case, we have x squared. 
Another example, we have y squared minus 10x minus 6y minus 11 equals 0. So in this equation, we have y squared. Next connect section, we have the ellipse. 9x squared plus 16y squared minus 126x plus 64y equals 71. So what is the characteristic? When x and y are both squared. So just like the circle, they are both squared. But the coefficients are positive but different. So as we can see, we have different coefficients of x and y. In x, we have the coefficient 9. In y, we have the coefficient 16. And they are both positive. So in this case, the conic section is ellipse. So another example, 4x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 4y minus 9 equals 0. So x and y are both squared. Then the coefficients are positive. We have positive 4 and positive 1, but different. Another example, 2x squared plus 9y squared minus 16x plus 18y equals 11. Again, x and y are both squared. The coefficients are both positive. We have positive 2, we have positive 9, but different. Lastly, the hyperbola. We have negative 4x squared plus 9y squared plus 24x minus 18y minus 63 equals 0. So what is the characteristic for hyperbola? When x and y are both squared. And exactly one of the coefficients is negative and exactly one of the coefficients is positive. So 1 is positive, so we have positive 9, and 1 is negative, so we have negative 4. So x and y are both uh, squared. So this uh, general form is confirmed as hyperbola. So another example, 5y squared minus 9x squared plus 10y plus 36 minus 76 equals 0. So let us examine the equation. When x and y are both squared, so x and y are both squared, One, uh, exactly one of the coefficient is negative, so we have negative 9, and exactly one of the coefficients is positive, so we have positive 5. So in this case, this general form is a hyperbola. Another example, negative i positive 16 x squared minus 4y squared plus 23x minus 90y equals 5. So when x and y are both squared and 1 is positive, one of the coefficients is positive and 1 is negative. So this is an equation of hyperbola. So let's discuss another characteristic by using or examining using the general form which is the ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. So we have the general form, the type of the conic section, and the characteristic. So in circle, we have x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y plus 4 equals 0. So we're going to look at a and C. If they are equal, then the general form is a circle. So we do not need to transform it to a standard equation. Again, A and C are equal, but not equal to zero. The next is the parabola. Y squared minus 5x plus 12y equals negative 16. Either A is equal to 0 or C is equal to 0 but not both. Then A times C equals 0. That is our parabola. So kapag wala yung A, that is 0. So C times 0, that is 0. Kapag naman wala yung C or wala tayong y squared na term, C is 0. So that is A times 0. 
The answer is 0. So our equation is parabola. The next one is the ellipse. We have 9x squared plus 16y squared minus 126x plus 64y equals 71. So let us examine that A is not equal to C. Okay? So as we can see, A is 9 and C is 16. So A is not equal to C. Then, it should be, if we're going to multiply A and C, the answer is positive. So if we're going to multiply positive 9 and positive 16, that is a positive number. So in that case, this equation is an ellipse. Lastly, we have the hyperbola. Negative 4x squared plus 9y squared plus 24x minus 18y minus 63 equals 0. So its characteristic is the product of A and C must be less than 0 or negative number. So uh, what is the value of A? That is negative 4. And the value of C is 9. So if we're going to multiply negative 4 and positive 9, we will have negative number, which satisfy our characteristic. So that is less than 0, the product of A and C. So let's have examples. So we have... The general form ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. So here are the characteristics that we have discussed earlier. Example number 1, let us examine this. 6x squared minus 2y squared minus 5x plus 4y minus 8 equals 0. So where is a? a is 6. c is negative 2. So if we're going to multiply it, so they're not equal, that's why it is not a circle. Then let's multiply. 6 times negative 2, we will have negative 12. So that is a negative number. So A, C, or the product of A and C is negative. So this equation is a hyperbola. Next example. 9x squared plus 9y squared plus 2x minus 7y equals 10. Let us examine A and C. A and C are equal. So, this equation is a circle. Next example, y squared minus 13x equals 21 plus 2y. So, let's examine the values of A and C. A is none. We don't have x squared here, so we don't have A. So A is equal to 0. Then C is present, so we have 1 as the coefficient of y squared. So 1 times 0, that is 0. So this equation is a parabola. Last, we have 4y squared plus 7x squared plus 9y minus 2y no, it's 9x minus 2y equals negative 7. So let's examine the value of a. a is 7 and c is 4. So they are not the same, so this is not a circle. Let us multiply. 7 times 4 will have positive number or positive 28. So this equation is this one. So when we multiply a and c, we will have positive number. So this equation is an ellipse. Okay. So in this topic, we realize that we do not need to transform each general equation to a standard form. We don't need to undergo tedious process in transforming equations. Diba? So we just need to remember the characteristics of each uh, conic section that we have.